Hey, what's up everyone? Thank you for joining me today for today's video discussion here on Retro Geek Gaming where we like to talk about all things that are retro related, all things that are gaming related, and of course all things that are geeky uh, that I feel are relevant to talk about. But lately it's been a lot about video games um, up until I get more comfortable with sharing more stuff down the road. Um, and we got a personal segment coming up at the end that if you guys want to watch, um, I would appreciate you watching. I'll try to I'll try to remember to put a timestamp about where it is so you can just jump straight uh, to that if you want or just get past it when we get to that point. But talking about today's topic, we're going to talk about Metroid Prime 4. And this was something that I was originally going to wait on. You know, because I wanted to sort of wait for this Nintendo Direct. You know, this, suppo this supposed Nintendo Direct that's coming. Um, at the end of the at the end of this month, um, but I wanted to get this out there just because I felt like ranting and I needed to put a video out, and so I figured, why not? This is the the most passionate topic that I have right now. Because anyone that knows me knows that Metroid is probably my second favorite Nintendo franchise, next to the Legend of Zelda. It kind of shifts depending upon the game. Some Zelda games aren't as good as some other Metroid games, so. But typically, I'm happy with both of them. You know, I, I, I like Metroid a lot. I played every single game uh, that's come out, other than the remakes, of course. You know, I, I, didn't, I haven't played um, Zero Mission, and I haven't played Samus Returns, or, because it's technically Metroid 2 for the 3DS. But getting into today's topic, though, is about Metroid Prime 4, and whether or not it's a, it's a next generation Switch game. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because we initially got the announcement for this game in 2017, if I recall it rightly. Um, and around that time we had the end of the 3DS happening and we had the beginning of the Switch. And there was like a maybe a good year or two um, where they were still coming out games for it. And I remember, I think it might have been in 2017, where they had that Nintendo Direct, where they talked about Metroid Prime 4 is being developed for the Nintendo Switch. And it showed the little blue clouds and it made the 4 and it was really cool looking and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Metroid Prime 4 is coming. That's awesome. I love the Prime series other than 2. 2 was a little weak. Um, but if you count Federation 4, since it is technically a Prime game, then, you know, Federation 4 is, is my least favorite Prime. But, that being said, we also got the announcement for the 3DS Samus that I just spoke on, you know, Metroid Samus Returns, which is just a, a remake of Return of Samus for the Game Boy. Um, and it's very, it, it played very much like Dread does, uh, which, is, which is great. But getting into what I want to talk about, that's been five years. You know, um, I'm not trying to say that they wouldn't, because again, it's been handed away from Bandai Namco and handed back in the retro. But that's all that we've gotten was an announcement that, yes, it's being redeveloped by Retro Studios. It's going back to them. How much of the assets did did they keep? Is it from the ground up? We don't know. All I know is that since Metroid Prime 4 got announced, we've had two Zelda games come out. Well, not two Zelda games, two Metroid games. Samus Returns for the 3DS and Metroid Dread. So Mercury, Mercury Steam or whoever it is that, um, that made those games, no disrespect, I can't remember your names on the top of my head right now, but they came out with two Metroid games. And granted, they're, they're 2D games. You know, they're 2D side-scrolling um, Metroid games. So maybe it's not nearly as much work as a full-blown 3D game. Especially in the first person. But, you've had five years. And there's, again, no, no announcement on this. But also considering the fact that we've had Link's Awakening. We've had Skyward Sword HD. And by March, we'll have Breath of the Wild 2. We've gotten a ton of Mario games. We've gotten two um, Mario Party games. We've, you know, three Zeldas. We've gotten all kinds of stuff. So, 
where's Metroid Prime 4? Now, again, the, all this is speculation. At the end of the month, we could have a Nintendo Direct, and um, they could show it off, and they could say, here it is, it's coming out um, quarter two of 2023, and then I will be pleasantly surprised. But I'm just going based upon the fact that every time a Nintendo Direct comes around, one of my requests, as well as the requests I'm, of, I'm, of, I'm sure of many people out there, is that they want to see Metroid Prime 4 or some kind of an update on it. Because we've gotten updates on Zelda. We have. We've gotten updates on Zelda. You know, they've said, oh, you know, it's we've had to delay the game. We're so sorry. But here's new footage. Here's an exact date. We know it, we, we know we initially said 2022. Now we're saying uh, by, you know, quarter one, 2023. So, unless it gets delayed again, we assume March 2023. But we don't have anything that's known past 2023, do we? We don't know if Metroid Dread is, uh, sorry, Metroid Prime 4 is there. We don't know any games that are coming out in 2023. So hopefully this, this Direct that comes out will change that. And I believe I spoke on that um, as far as I'm not expecting Metroid Prime 4 to be there. Just because I think that that's going to be a next generation Switch game at this time. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be a next generation Switch game at this point? Where it's going to be sort of like... Well, maybe they can do like a Breath of the Wild thing. Where it's like it's on the Switch and the Switch 2. You know, but I guess it's all depending upon what Nintendo does. Whether they're just going to come out with just a 4K Switch. And it's in the same family with the same chipset. Or if it's a completely revamped, more capable, more powerful system. Which is what I would like to see. I'd like to see a more capable, more powerful system. That can blow my mind as far as this is what Metroid Prime 4 looks like and it's worth the wait. I think it's going to be worth the wait anyway because I, I just enjoy playing Metroid all together. I had a real good time with Dread, but I'm just saying that in the time that they announced officially that Metroid Dread 4 was in development, they snuck in Dread. And they launched it within three or four months. So I'm confident that whenever they show off Metroid Prime 4, it's going to be out within a year. Six months. Nintendo is usually not that kind of company. But they have done it before. You know, we've seen Platinum Games announce Bayonetta 3. And then we went probably two or three years with nothing on it until November of last year. Or September, whenever that fall direct was. And seeing it with Metroid Prime 4, where again, in 2017, they showed off just a bunch of clouds and the 4 symbol coming up. And that's it. But we have no updates. I mean, yeah, sure, you came out with that cool-looking tweet, um, which um, which I'll just go ahead and bring up here. Uh, this this tweet that they showed, where they showed off Samus and the ship and the shadow, and that brought kinds of speculation because the shadow doesn't match the arms, and so is this Silux? Is this some kind of new Dark Samus enemy, or you know what is it? And so it's really cool. But all I'm getting at is that that doesn't necessarily tell us how far along is this game because as far as I know you're still hiring for it as far as I know Retro Studios is still hiring for this game so how far along is it? is this a 2023 game, a 2024 game or are we even going to see it at all this console cycle? who knows? I'm hoping that it's a, it's a Breath of the Wild situation and that we see it on more capable hardware as well as also maybe a scaled down version um, because I think that would just be beneficial for people that, you know, maybe like with the Wii U, they bought Wii U for Zelda, and so they just wanted to have Zelda for the Wii U, so they bought Breath of the Wild for it. Um, because that doesn't justify them buying new hardware. Maybe that's what some people are. They don't want to go off and buy new hardware just for Metroid Prime 4, and they can just play it on their Switch. Or maybe it will be. Maybe it's the best of both worlds, and we get the Metroid Prime Trilogy for Switch at the end of the life, and we get... Metroid Prime 4 at the beginning of a new life cycle for a console. But I'm just one guy just ranting randomly on YouTube. What do you guys think about this topic? Uh, you can leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, and also make sure you leave a thumbs up if you do like this content. And let us know that you've seen it all the way to the end and you enjoy this. And you want to hear more about Nintendo news and speculation and stuff like that. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into some personal stuff uh, that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. I have somebody that is probably going to come on maybe bi-weekly, maybe once a month, um, and we're going to do a podcast together. And I plan to have this be called the Retro Rewind. 
and the whole point of it is just basically what it sounds like. We just talk about the last month, um, the last month or so of gaming. You know, we talk about maybe like for example this last month of all these game trailers. What game trailers are we the most excited to play within this next upcoming year? What was shown off that really surprised us? What are we kind of disappointed that, that wasn't shown off? Um, or even just going back even further to like previous console generations and talking about uh, just some of our favorite experiences and stuff. I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, or maybe we'll just talk about future stuff. Who knows? But the whole point is that I'm going to I plan to start a podcast with somebody else. Um, that's going to basically just talk about gaming news with me and I hope that you guys will join me for that I don't know when we're gonna get around to releasing the first video um, but hopefully you'll join us for that um, and once again I know I say it a lot but if you guys have enjoyed this I would really love it if you subscribe you don't have to there's no pressure from me of course um, but I just appreciate all the support that I get I love that you guys listen even if I get two or three views on this video I'm just happy that I got that so have a good one guys I've taken enough of your time and I do apologize deeply but have a good one and I'll see you next time